so cute. A wow. giant gummy bear. Ooh, he's one tough cookie. A gummy. Eh, what if? I think a little heat should soften him up. Nice and liquidy. Now take a stick or two and wrap it up. It's like a giant gummy drumstick. Wow, this robot holds your lollipop for you. But more importantly, it holds it for you when you want to put it down. Always enjoy candy with a friend. Or two. <laughs> Jelly bean soccer. Finally, we need more candy-themed sports. And it looks like we've already got our coach for the big game. Now, we can't start this game without jelly beans. Pour them in. We're ready for the big kickoff. Goal! Goal, 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 goal! Now, coach, come on, collect your prize. Ow! Oh, no. Quick, put that tooth in milk. Is this soccer or hockey? A rose. Oh, how romantic. No, don't eat it. You just pair flowers with candy. Luckily, we already have plenty of candy, too. We just need to melt them down and mix it up. Told you you're supposed to pair flowers with candy. <gasps> Just remember, you're still not supposed to eat the rose. We need to do something about those not-so-pearly whites. There's something off about this toothpaste. Guess you don't exactly need the brush. Good thing, too. You can dig into all these different flavors. Wow, they just won't stop trying to reinvent the lollipop. Are you sure that's the part that goes in your mouth? You don't want to miss out on all that delicious syrup. And the toppings. <laughs> this girl loves her toppings. If this thing dispenses candy, you're always a winner. You need a match to win. But it's not like it asks for quarters or anything. We're gonna make it rain! Candy, that is. Phew. It still looks good. Just wipe off the hair. I know sushi's raw, but that fish looks a little too fresh. Can't forget our soy sauce and wasabi. Though they're probably a little sweeter than usual. Either that, or she really likes things spicy. There's probably a market for candy sushi on conveyor belts. Ah, soda. A tried and true classic. Wait, uh, what are you doing? I get that she needed the bottle, but I could have used some soda. Wow, a nice chocolate cone. Let's add some nuts. <laughs> hey, do you want some ice cream with all that whipped cream? <laughs> of course, anything as delicious as whipped cream is plenty. 
all these treats. It's so hard to choose what's next. This one's a little hard to figure out. But at least it tastes all right. It's like it's coming out of its brain. Oh, so that's why they call it that. So much candy, so many delicious flavors. B -b -b bonus episode. Time to strut your stuff. Not exactly making an entrance, is she? Quick, get out the cold cream. We're gonna need it. Better yet, duct tape. Hmm. The answer to all life's problems. It takes it off and helps her put it back on. Not like before, but at least it makes an impression. With these wings, she'll be a real social butterfly. <laughs> oh, this tinsel's giving her some ideas. With these clips, they're brand new highlights. As if all that purple hair wasn't already making a statement. And just like that, she's the new life of the party. Remind me to schedule her dentist appointment. Sweet stuff! Catch you next time! Looks like our little elf friend here is clearly up to something. Oh, all those poor gummy bears! And candies and sprinkles! But they didn't melt in vain. Now we've got a giant gummy bear! Mmm, cheese! The perennial favorite of cartoon mice! And it's great in so many ways. Whole, grated, and mm -hmm. rainbow colored, apparently. Wow, they even remembered indigo. Now that's what I call fancy. This is gonna be one happy grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Despite this, I still wow. think he's pretty happy. Mm -hmm. An apple. Oh, seems simple enough. Now that's more like it. Let's cut it up into cool shapes. Guess the first step to cutting them up is cutting them up. And it can even help you make quick kebabs. It's like a bouquet. And it looks like someone could use it. Personally, I don't care what shape chocolate is, as long as it's chocolate. But still, let's watch. Who knew that chocolate came in so many colors? How cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. I think she likes it. Looks like it's time to boil some eggs. Scratch that. Make that break some eggs. You know, I always felt that egg whites needed some color. All that work separating the eggs, and they're just back together again. It's the taste of egg with the fun of cookie dough. 
Ah, jokes aside, Yay. eggs are actually good for your eyes. Wow. Uh. Guess we're having dinner and a show. Uh -huh. Are you sure you should leave that stick on? Yeah. Unless we're cooking balloons. Uh, I don't even know what to think. By the looks of it, I guess it was a water balloon. <laughs> now to dig into that shell. Mmm, purple. With a hint of stick. Mm. Uh. I told you we were getting dinner in a show. Uh. Huh, mm. after all that eating, it's time for a snack. Ah yes, instant noodles. Hey, that's not our usual seasoning, or our usual noodles. I think I know this elf's favorite color. All seven of them. Wow. What? Literally taking food out of someone's mouth? Hey, that's just mean. <laughs> An iron. <laughs> Hope this means more grilled cheese. Wouldn't be too keen on unicorns after well, one stole my ramen. <laughs> Guess this elf's a bigger person than me. It's almost too good to eat. Just kidding. I'll have the horn. Mr. Elf? I told Santa to offer a dental plan. Oh, so that's where the Easter Bunny gets his eggs. This sure is quicker than those vinegar dyes. You just knew this was coming. Wow! <gasps> Oops! Wow! A diamond! But still no chocolate? <laughs> Quick! Someone get this elf some jelly beans! <laughs> An emoji pancake pan! Seems pretty self explanatory. I'd be more surprised if these weren't different colors. Looks like they're done. Let's see some smiling faces. That purple one looks like he knows something. Now he's a crescent moon. Oh, oh no, oh. the bag! Hmm. How are we gonna get food now? Clearly I know little of elves and their banana summoning powers. Guess there's more than one way to skin a banana. There's gotta be an eating things with a face joke in here somewhere. With a fruit platter like this, who needs a zoo? Oh, Nutella. Great on toast, or just by itself. And the food lover's best friend, the spoon. Wait, don't eat the spoon! What are we gonna use to eat soup with? Oh, we're just making spoon-shaped uh -huh. baked goods. Well. I guess it's okay to eat. We can always make some more. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow! A spiral knife. Can't wait to see this in action. A cucumber. Always good to have some veggies with your gadgets. Yay! What? Greaters, 
They're not just for cheese. It's a great thing we're not wasting the cucumber shell. Wow, it's a vegan sushi roll. Probably could have saved a few bucks using prop food. But that would kind of defeat showing off the gadgets, right? Kitchen amazing stuff! Gatcha next time. Time once again for a friendly toy exchange. Hey, I said friendly. Spray on cheese. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't exactly call that a toy. Wow, did you know it could do that? Hey, what's with that look in her eyes? You know, you should probably ask before you put your mouth on something. What's this now? An egg opener? I never would have guessed eggs were so hard to break. Eh, don't worry, folks. That chick is just here to watch the show. Well, it said it would open them, and it opened them. You know, if the chick seems to like it, who am I to question it? Watermelon is healthy and delicious, but doesn't make a mess. If only cutting it up didn't have to be such a chore. Hint, hint. Wow, a watermelon slicer cutter. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Either way, it slices or cuts as advertised. Really getting your money's worth. Aw, cute. It's already in bite-sized pieces. I can finally toss that melon ball in. I was kind of hoping she was paying attention during our little presentation. Eh, let's just be happy she's eating more produce. What's next? Oh, here's a device for strawberries. But what makes them so special? Let's see what else it can do. Aha, uh -huh, you can use it on a tomato too. Or a slice of pineapple. But why stop at food? Let's try it out on other things. Like this little toy ball. Ha, <laughs> good idea. Just look at it come to pieces. So basically, it cuts anything soft and malleable. <laughs> That's good to know. Ah, uh, what a cute little frog. I think I will name him Kermit. And he's got a little pig friend too. How oddly appropriate. And together, they can suck up all those egg yolks. And look cute while doing it, I might add. Now, nothing can stop you from making meringue cookies. In other words, I want you to make some meringue cookies. If not for me, then for the pig. Aw, give us a kiss. What more treasures does the magic pot hold? A lemon squeezer. Well, it fits right on the lemon. So far, so good. Wow, it turns the lemon into a spritz bottle. You can really perk up that salmon and side salad. Or just do that. And this is why lemon juice is rarely the main event. Oh no, she's already gone mad with power. Will it work? Well, if she doesn't mind holding that big melon, why not? A cucumber sharpener. Wow. These kitchen gadgets are getting really specific. Well, first things first, let's try it out. If you ever need to shave a cucumber, your prayers have been answered. I wonder if it works on pickles too. Okay, maybe we shouldn't let this girl stay in the kitchen unsupervised. What's next on the menu? Oh, how cute. It's a bunny. Ah, it's an egg mold. This should come in handy for Easter. Oh, look, a skull. Must be for Halloween. Or maybe she just likes skulls. Either way, let's see it in action. First, pour out the whites. How cute. The eye sockets are for the yolks. Let's steam it up. The bunny? Uh, we must have skipped a few scenes. Yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of a stencil not to stay in the lines. But to be fair, skulls aren't really supposed to have eyes anyway. Still, let's wish everyone a happy Groundhog Day. Or whatever this is for. What's up next? A finger knife. Huh, beats sharpening your nails. Technically, your thumb isn't a finger, but why split hairs? <gasps> yeah, be careful around sharp objects. Let's see it in action. Make sure to practice, and soon you'll work your way up to being Wolverine. Schnick, schnick. Yeah, I read that he's just a whiz in the kitchen. At least, when it comes to cutting. 
Of course, some people just don't have the patience to, well, use utensils. But they sometimes learn the hard way it's not such a bad idea. Beware. I know girls who say the same thing about their acrylics. Well, whatever this next device is for, it's certainly alliterative. Oh, forget wordplay. Anything involving potatoes is A-OK -okay in my book. I mean, what other root vegetable can you make into chips and fries? Uh, aside from taro, that is. Dude, it's a baby tornado potato. Kind of looks like spiral pasta. Try to see if you can stretch it out. Three, two, one. Ha, even better. You get two potato spirals for the price of one. What else can we try this on? Oh, wow, a spiral carrot. Isn't that just adorable? And look, it's actually kind of bouncy. Up next, the cucumber. Best known for turning into pickles. Wow, she managed to make it a spiral while keeping the skin on. It's that trick where you cut a banana with a toothpick all over again. And just like the carrot, it's a little bit stretchy too. Okay, I think she's starting to get mad with power. Maybe we should move on. Yeah, good idea. What's next? Look, an orange peeler. Guess we're back to those items with really specific uses. Normally, I wouldn't want anything that peels stuff on my finger, but that seems to be par for the course here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, great success. The part of the peel comes clean off. In other words, it's time for clementines to step up their game. See, wow. it even opens up like a flower. Such a beautiful, what the? I was wondering what happened to her. Well, I guess that's another way to open up your orange. Still, I think people want a sense of style with their fruit. It's time for our next item. What's this now? A slicer? You're telling me that's the best name their marketing team could come up with? I mean, it's short and simple. I'm not complaining, but still. Well, either way, at least it seems to be working. That's good. Wow, tomatoes, radishes, and does it even work on strawberries? Yes, it does! I guess a tool like this really speaks for itself. Cool, are we making kebabs, but bite-sized? Well, this looks kind of cute. Oh, it's another slicing device. Let's try it. Kind of looks like a comb, but don't put it in your hair. Put it in your onion. It's clever, but you kind of want a device that does the slicing for you. That said, she doesn't seem to mind. Actually, she seems to be getting a little too into all that slicing. Either this girl just got a catering job, or she's using up all our veggies. Oh well, at least we have another excuse to eat more vegetables. And when you're done slicing, the device adds a little bit of flair. Slice-tastic tools, right? Catch you next time! Looks like Grandma's got a visitor. Wow, that's a lot of food. Wait, did you see any German brothers and sisters on the way here? Mm, maybe she's just a sweet old grandma. But seriously, either way, don't go near the oven. Time for Grandma vs. Gadget's showdowns. Stay tuned for the bonus episode, too. Separating the yolks from the whites. <laughs> kind of makes you wish they were just sold separately. Oh! Looks like a cross between Birdo and Babe. But it sure does get the job done. It's almost clean off. Huh. I wouldn't think to pair eggs with something that looks wow. like a pig. Well, maybe with a side of bacon. Or ham. Or sausage. Nothing like a relaxing night watching a movie together. Uh-oh, they're out of popcorn. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Cue the next gadget. Just pour in the kernels and push the button. You can already hear everything popping.
Just keep that cover on, or the whole room's gonna get covered in popcorn. Oh. Oh, it's still spilling. Good idea. Add it to this giant bucket of... Oh, wait a minute. Eh, I guess you can never have too much popcorn. After all, you don't want to run out again. Mmm, potatoes. So delicious, but so hard to peel. Hmm, she had an idea, and I don't think it's just to make rice instead. It's a new gadget. You get a peeled potato and a really long potential french fry. But why stop at potatoes? Let's see what else this baby can peel. Remember, you peel it, you eat it. Aw, oh, some fruit should be nice after all that junk food she gave you. In other words, Granny's on a health kick, and we gotta be sneaky about our sweets. Let's just hope that this device can help us. Wow, it gives you a hollowed out banana. Still, let's not let all that good banana go to waste. But now for what we came for, using our banana's secret hiding place. Cue the Nutella. I've heard of chocolate covered bananas before, <laughs> but not banana covered chocolate. Come on, like you can really keep a secret from Granny? It's tea time. Some herbal tea can be a really good choice. Look at those leaves. Ew, a tea leaf. Oh, it looks like she's got something up her sleeves. A pink elephant? Oh, I see. It holds the leaves for you. So this way, all you get is just the nice, smooth tea. And it comes in so many different flavors. From squirrel to manatee. Collect them all. Poor Nana. All those birthdays and no one's gotten her an electric mixer? Don't worry. You don't always need something electric to make things easier. Just watch. We can even mix the ingredients inside this giant bottle. Don't get any eggshells inside. And shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Really getting our money's worth out of these cookie cutters. Ooh. Mmm, there Grandma approved. Microwaves make cooking easier, but they're such a pain to clean. Hey! Angry Mama? Are you sure? We might need Angry Grandma, or even Great Grandma level. Don't let anyone know that's not her real hair, or she'll get really angry. Don't let the mess intimidate you. She looks like a fighter. What? Did you think she'd just do the whole thing for you? She just made it a little easier. Time for cake. It's no one's birthday, but <laughs> Grandma knows you don't need an excuse for cake. Don't worry, they even have a gadget to help you serve cake. Seriously, there's something for everything. Look at how tightly it hugs the piece of cake. And don't forget the best part. You get to lick the device at the end. I knew I should have called dibs. Time for another snack. Ooh. Some fresh, healthy cherries. Oh. 
Oh no, a lost tooth. I knew we should have stuck to cake and ice cream. Either way, we've come prepared. A handy dandy cherry pitter. Granny seems impressed. Guess she has to watch out for her dentures. B -b -b bonus episode. Uh -huh. When you can't decide between a ball pit or a pool, why not both? What a cute little whatever it is. What's she gonna do with it? Ooh, it's like a tiny little doorknob. But something tells me it won't be tiny for long. Told ya. But what are we gonna do with it? Throwing them on the wall? Kinda reminds me of that carnival game. Except the balloons are the darts. Wait a minute. So that's how you make that toy from before. I was wondering how they were connected. And now you can make a whole team of them. Grand-sational stuff. Catch you next time.